miss an episode of Business Matters, catch up online. Go to www.wfmz.com slash business matters to watch the most recent episodes. Now, back to Tony Ionelli. Hey, we are back. Good show. And Mary, I know you're a president of the debate team when you're in school. I, I know that for sure. All right, so Mike, I think we have heard that, you know, there, look, it, it, I guess there's a place. I mean, I think, I guess what I want to ask you is, is there a place for these students that are, are disadvantaged in, in whatever ways or bullied? Uh, but is it, is it to you, is it about the money or is it about the whole philosophy? I think it's both, but okay. we, we focus on the money because the money is the issue that drives everything. Mm -hmm. If we can't take care of the 90% of our students who stay in the Bethlehem Area School District because we're taking care of the 10% who opt out for charters, then that's a problem. Yes. And there's no equity in the funding we talked about, the, right. cyber, the cost for a cyber student. Would you guys you know agree that this is not focus, equitable funding? Can I tell you, we focus on the children and not well, the no, no, dollars. No, I want to talk about the dollars. Would you agree that it's, that it's not equitable, that in fact, I uh, without a building? What I would say is that people don't understand our expenses. Our expenses are as great as those of a brick and mortar, they're just different. As I said, we spend Wouldn't your numbers change if you had to build a building? We, we rent buildings, we rent okay. spaces, we rent spaces all over the state for, for testing, for, we rent spaces for get-togethers, we rent, oh, yeah, so I mean, no, but I mean, we have, our mileage, I, I challenge you, our okay. mileage expenses, because we have teachers traveling all over the state, is equal to any building. I think I would, we drive 7,000 miles a day busing students to charters and traditional me, public yeah. schools. You know what, and, and we... How many buses do you, do you do busing? No, but we bus kids who we can't, who, kids who we pay for to be in approved private schools, okay. we bus them. I Steve. Think, I think ours is very similar, what we get from Allentown um, is 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 good for you know a brick and mortar charter school. I think if you ask anyone who's in education, you you always need more money, more Let resources. Let me ask you this: Have you had parents say to you, "Thank God"? Uh, I mean, have you has have stu have you turned students around? I guess absolutely. Is the you, you can you look at our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page. All the positive comments from parents, students is is, if is they overwhelming. Play, if, if, it wasn't for, if it wasn't for us, then let's say if they I go to either one of your schools and I'm a really good basketball player, can I? Where do I go? Where can I play? You can go to your brick and mortar district. That's part oh, okay. of the money yeah. that yeah. they. Now, do you find that? Is that do you okay? Okay with that? That's part of the retention money that we that keep. That is part of they get oh, okay. Yeah. okay, so you get so, it. Okay. But, but you know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we serve kids that nobody else does want to serve, and and you can hear 10,300 amazing stories in our school. That's how many students you have. That's 10, how many students we have. All over the all over state? the entire state. Okay. We have 10,300. Are kids you concerned about this new governor and his? I am absolutely concerned that he needs to be educated about education. How are you going to do that? You have a lobby? Do you have a lobby group? Do you have um, a lobbyist? No, but I'm going to Harrisburg every week oh, and every chance. Pretty good I shot, I would. But yeah. I think it's safe to say the charter lobby is one of the loudest in the state when it comes to lobbying for funding for charter schools and okay. away from public schools. All right, we got you one know, minute to close this out. At so the end of the, the day, funding just it needs to be fair. Again, apples to apples. Whatever happens to a district school, needs right. to happen to a I got one minute left. 15 seconds. You start us. We're going to go right around. Okay. For parting thoughts. There is a space for charter schools in public education. There is not a space for charter schools to take over public education. The funding formula does need some work, and I'm glad that Governor Wolf has committed to changing up that. Funding formula. Great point. Great points, Mike. Absolutely, fix the funding formula, and I think a lot of the debate goes away. We still have the issue where it's the kids at the end of the day. Okay. Both schools serve kids, but if we fix the funding, I think it takes a lot of the tension out of the air. Mary, I think I think we need to fix the funding from the state level down. And House Bill 76 is one of the bills that would do that, where the dollars would follow the children, and we would be, and and we would not be arguing over the funding. Steve, close us out. I, uh, all great, great points from everyone. Um, I think it just, again, going back to apples to apples, whatever happens to a school district should happen to a brick and mortar charter school. All the same legislation policies should, should apply. So Make you do have concerns fair. about funding and you're anxious to have a, a closer look at it. Yep. All right, very good school. A very good school. Very good point. Very good people. Very good show. Be back next week. Business Matters, thanks for being with us.